you get any closer, you'll end up with a boiled nose. Smells good. Tastes good, too. Smells great. <laughs> That's an opinion also shared by Timmy and Lassie. They're done, aren't they? Uh, not quite. The sauce is just about finished, but the spare ribs aren't. I like mine really crisp. Sure don't look like enough to feed over 20 people. You mean over 30. This is the biggest Grange dinner of the year. Oh, there'll be plenty. At least four other wives are bringing spare ribs, and then there'll be salad and baked beans, too. And there's nothing better than barbecued ribs and beans on a cold winter's day. <laughs> Well, we better get going, Paul. We gotta pick up those folding chairs. Yeah, and I promised to pick up some tables, too, from the Tysons. Mm. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> That'll teach you. Listen, why don't you go on ahead? It's an 18 mile drive to Auburn. I don't want you to be late. I'll come on just as soon as the spare ribs are done. All right, we'll take the pickup. Mom, may I go with Dad and Uncle Petrie? Why, sure, son. No reason why you can't. I'll get my coat. Oh, and your sweater under it, too. And don't forget to wear your overshoes. Keep your feet warm. Did you put gas in the car? Filled her up yesterday. Also check the oil and the tires and the water and the battery. All you need is your driver's license. <laughs> and the barbecued spare ribs. I told Lassie I was going to leave her with you, Mom, so you'll have some company. Now you take good care, Mom, and don't let her spill the sauce. Those are good instructions if I ever heard any. Don't be too long. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. I'll see you in a little while. Okay. Lassie? What is it, Lassie? Oh, it's all right. Down, girl. Get on. There you go. Mrs. Martin? Yes? My name's Bob Miner. I'm a state trapper. Is Mr. Martin home? No, he's not. Um, may I help you? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, well, I... Well, here, why don't you come on in where it's warm? This is certainly no weather to be standing on doorsteps. Thank you. It's about the coldest day we've had this year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to leave this map for Mr. Martin. I don't want to frighten you, ma'am, but there's a cougar prowling around this area. I've set a series of four traps at each of these spots. Oh. Well, I'm afraid that maps always confuse me, but... Well, anyway, I'll give it to my husband. You say it's a cougar? Yes, there was a bad forest fire on the other side of the ridge. Cougar, fox, deer, the ones that escaped the burning have migrated to this side. But still, the ridge is a long way from here. Oh, I know that. But a hungry cougar will travel a long way to get himself a nice fat chicken. Well, how close do you think he is? Well, I wish I knew. May not be within miles, but if he's around, I'll get him. Sounds frightening. What, um, what could we do? Just be careful. Now, these are good, strong traps. They're anchored to a log buried several feet. They'll hold a horse. Well, they look awful. <laughs> they look worse than they are. Matter of fact, the spring on these has been weakened, so the animal isn't hurt. He's just held. Now, they open with this C-clamp, and it goes on just as I have it here. You wind down the screw until the spring opens. I'm going to leave this with you, so if any of your livestock gets caught, your husband can free it. And like I said, the traps won't hurt it. Oh, if it were my dog, I'd keep it in the house till we catch that cougar. Oh, well, we certainly will. Of course, he might head back for the mountains and not cause any trouble at all. Oh, I hope so. Anyway, thanks for the warning and for the map. Yeah, I make the rounds of my traps every day. If we get him, I'll let you know. Oh, well, wish you good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. I really am late, Lassie.
Bueno. Thank you, Lassie. <laughs> I'm going to leave you at home, Lassie. You won't mind missing the Grange meeting, will you? Meetings are usually very dull for doggies anyway. You'll be much safer at home. You know, cougars can be very nasty animals. Bye, Lassie. We won't be very late. feel better. Bye. Take care of things now. to cook. Well, that's your mom's special secret recipe. Even I don't know. But they're worth waiting for, aren't they, Dad? You bet they are. Listen, you go in and tell Mrs. Bates to hold up for a few minutes, and then Mom will be along and we can all sit down together. 
Martin. Stop acting like an idiot. Hysterics isn't going to get you anywhere. What you need is a calm, sensible look at the situation. Now, you're caught in a trap. You may have an injured ankle. In a very lonely spot where there's certainly very little traffic. You may just freeze before anybody finds you. Everybody knows there isn't a cougar in the neighborhood. Hasn't been one for years. Even if there was, cougars don't attack people. They're cowards. Everybody knows that. Where do you suppose your mother could be? Maybe she got lost. Between here and home? No, it ain't likely. Jenny, this is Paul Martin. Ring my home, would you please? Thanks. Maybe somebody stole the food. Yeah, well, now that's a possibility. Your mother's spare ribs would tempt almost anybody. <laughs> well, I guess she's left, Jenny. Thanks, anyway. Well, she's on her way. Let's go tell Mrs. Bates. Be careful. Oh, good girl. Well, watch out, there are more of them. Good dog. 
dog. But please be careful. What am I going to do? <laughs> it's no use, Lassie. It's buried too deep. Come here, girl. Lassie, do you remember the, the sea clamp that the trapper brought? <laughs> well, I think I left it on the sink. Would you go get it for me? Everybody's eating, Dad. Yeah, I know. Why don't you start eating, too? I want to wait for you and Mom. Besides, I ate a hot dog. Where can she be? Maybe she stopped off someplace. Yes, but where? And why? You know, Mom. Always trying to help somebody. You know, you're right. You know, I'll bet at this very moment she's safe and sound in some house doing something for someone. Besides, Lassie's taking care of her. Of course she is. It's a good try, but that's my cheese slicer. Lassie, look. The sea clamp. The one you picked up off the floor, remember? <laughs> well, go, go get it. Try. That's a girl. Hurry, Lassie! Uncle Petrie, go on in and eat, Jimmy. I'm going to go look for your mother. I'll go with you. No, you stay here with Uncle Petrie and enjoy your dinner. I wouldn't be able to eat a bite, not even the ice cream. Please let me go with you. Boy's right, Paul. We'll all go. We haven't met her yet. That's only an old logging road that cuts across. But she'd have more sense than to take that route. 
Maybe she's still at home. Oh, if she were, she would have answered the phone. Right here. It's all right. Oh, he's dead. That's the first cougar around these parts in years. I know. You see, I took the shortcut because I was so late. And then I got a flat tire. So then I had to get the tire out of the trunk, and as soon as I did, it got away from me, so I had to chase it. And then I got my foot caught in the trap, see? But Lassie got me out. Well, we better get you to Doc Stewart. Oh, well, no, really, I'm all right. It doesn't hurt. I'm just kind of shaken up, and well, I'm very cold. Well, we'll just take you home and get some hot soup in you. <laughs> oh, my spare ribs. I did the finished eating back at the Grange. Good. Oh, they're cold. Well, like I always say, there's nothing better than a crisp, cold spare rib. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Well, have one on me. <laughs> oh, Lassie, would you like one, too? You certainly deserve it. There. Be my honored guest. <laughs> There you are. Well, just as you always say, there is nothing like a cold, crisp spare rib. Wait till Boomer hears how you save Mom from that old cougar. Mm -hmm. 